All right, so I've intentionally stopped the simulation here because tomorrow night, Stoke City face Spurs. And Spurs are in second place. And Stoke City, as we know, are in 18th place. Now, if Stoke lose tonight, which they should do, they haven't won in over a month, then they will probably be going down. But more importantly, Bray Wanderers will be guaranteed to be staying up if they get just one point from the final two games. So, Spurs, don't do this. Don't lose. I, just, I feel like it's going to happen. I don't know why. But Spurs, get a, just a draw. I'll take a draw. I'll t I would have taken a draw. I would have taken a draw. That would have almost certainly still don't been enough for us. Oh, they haven't won in a month. They haven't won in a month. And now they beat Spurs by a goal to nil. Really? I mean, their, their last win was basically last month. The start of last month, they beat Swansea. Oh, for goodness sake. I mean, ugh. I would have taken a draw. Still, it's fine, Spurs fans. Don't worry about it. You're still guaranteed to be in the top four. Chelsea beat City, so because of that, you can't fall out of it. So everything's fine for Spurs. You're, you're guaranteed a top four place. Everything's fine for Spurs. Not fine for very wondrous, though. We're, uh, we're now only three points off safety with two games to go. So there was me thinking even a draw, even a draw from second place Spurs against 18th place Stoke would be enough. That's all I asked for, Spurs, a draw. That's all I asked for. And now, <laughs> I mean, there's still a chance we could go down. Thanks a lot. What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Saving Bray. This is episode number 20 and it's also the penultimate one of the season as well. Bray Wanderers play host to West Bromwich Albion in their final home game of the season, knowing a win will all but secure their safety. However, after Spurs lost to Stoke in midweek, we know that a loss in this game or results going against us elsewhere could prove to be disastrous as we could potentially slip into the relegation zone going into the final day. We may have lost our last game to Everton but our recent run of form has still been encouraging and with Jackie Boy back from injury and bagging two in his last two, Carlisle Grounds is not only hopeful, but expectant of seeing a secure safety today. It won't be easy, it hasn't been easy all season long, but with just a couple of games to go, it's time to step up and deliver the points we need to survive in the league. Our own fate is in our own hands, with just two games to go, we really shouldn't let our safety slip through our fingers now. We've had some heartbreaking moments this season, but it'll definitely be worth it if we prevent relegation. So let's do it. A point would be bad, but we want all three. I need to make sure I don't choke, I need to make sure Jackie keeps firing them in, but most importantly, we all need Bray to make sure they stay in the Premier League. Let's do it. Come on, Bray. Win the game, stay in the league. Win the game, stay in the league. Win the game, stay in the league. Simple as that. Win this game and we stay in the league. We can do it. We can do it. Right now, I'm sitting here and I'm trying to be as relaxed as possible because I feel like if I tighten up and get too nervy, I'll probably make some mistakes. So I'm just, I'm just trying to sit here and think to myself, you know, we've got Watford and Leicester below us. Stoke have got a win, at least one of their final two games. I know they just beat Spurs, which has really annoyed me, but I'm 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 fine. I'm 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 calm. I'm calm right now. Serenity. It's nice. I'm at peace. For goodness sake, Spurs! It's actually really annoyed me. Like it's actually really, really, really annoyed me. Come on, we can do this. Come on, Bray. We beat West Brom at the Hawthorns. We beat them at the Hawthorns in the game that I labelled the Snooze Fest. So hopefully Tony Pudis is going to come here with the same tactics, which is don't shoot, because that way will guarantee ourselves a point and a point in my opinion a point in my opinion is a good result a point in my opinion is a good result here even though a win effectively guarantees safety I'll take a point because that will probably be enough come on Bray Wanderers final home game of the season let's go out with a bang let's show the oh okay let's just start Chumacero with the tackle, plays it through towards his man Brennan, Brennan on the ball, through to Jackie Boy, Jackie Boy, Jackie Boy just overcooked the touch, what a dream start that would have been. We take the lead in this game and I don't see West Brom scoring twice, they take the lead though, everyone starts to panic, Rondon shot comes in by Fletcher, almost right on cue, Chilwell on the ball, takes it around his man, pokes it through the gap towards Chumacero, Chumacero now spreads the play out wide towards Cotal. And Cotala, Indian, right back on the ball with the ball roll. Takes it around his man. Now plays it through to Chilwell. Chilwell to Brennan. Brennan on the ball. Back to Ben Chilwell. Chilwell storming forward. Chilwell fires it over the bar. He scored against Chelsea. And I couldn't keep that shot down. But two early attempts.
still 0 0. And it's Rondon for West Brom through the gap towards James McLean down the left hand side here. And McLean's around Kenner. And James McLean inside the area. And McLean twisting and turning. And Drea with safe hands. Olsen, free kick, long. Hagazi gets it away. Singh controls. Nice first touch. Nice second touch. That's got to be a foul referee. Thank you very much. All right, free kick. Brennan to take it off. Floated into the centre. Can someone get on the end of it? In it comes. Hagazi's header goes wide of the post. Adrian had it covered, but. We're showing the intent. We want to take the lead in this game. We really do. And I believe we can before the first half finishes. Come on, let's keep attacking. And a chance here as Gardner will float into the centre. Looking for Rondon. Rondon heads it towards goal and puts it wide at the post. So I think someone's going to win this game. And if it's West Brom and Stoke win, we could be in a drop zone come the end of 90 minutes. So... Oh, it's going to be really, really nervy going into half-time, seeing what the score is at uh, Selhurst Park. Come on, Palace, do us a favour, please. All right, so that is it then. First half's worth of action is done here at Carlisle Ground in our final home game of the season, in the penultimate game of our debut year in the Premier League. We are currently goalless here at Carlisle Ground, but I want to know what's going on at Selhurst Park. A Palace winning, a Stoke winning, a Palace doing us a favour like Spurs couldn't. Please, Crystal Palace, I just want a point from you. But if you win the game, that'll be magical. Are you winning? No, come on! Come on! Seriously? I mean, seriously? Where is Stoke getting this form from? Where are Stoke getting this form from? That's what I want to know. Come on! Seriously? And Leicester are drawing, which means that I think... As things stand, they will be the team that drop into 18th place. Watford aren't playing. So, oh, God, I've forgotten the league table. Right, so let's see if my maths is right here. As things stand, I believe that Watford going into the relegation zone right now in 18th place, due to the goal difference record, they do have a game in hand, keep that in mind. Leicester drop down to 17th place, and Stoke move up to... No, Stoke, hang on, what? Watford drop into the relegation zone on goal difference. They do have a game in hand though, but they'll drop into the relegation zone and go into 18th place. Leicester drop to 17th place. We drop to 16th place, I think. And Stoke go up to 15th place? Is that right? Do you know what would be easier? If I just put a table in like the bottom right or the, the bottom left for you, like an updated table so you can see it. I'll have to edit that in somewhere. But I think that's right. I think that's right. As things stand, I think we're still out of the relegation zone. So it's annoying. It's very annoying, but we're still out of the relegation zone, so try not to worry too much. Where is this form coming from? Like, where is this form coming from? I mean, they haven't won in a month, and now they're going to win two on the trot as things stand. Like, where is this form coming from for Mark Hughes' side? This is preposterous, man, seriously. Like, we should be safe going into this game. We could be not safe going into the final day as things stand. We could need to get a win away at Old Trafford. That's what the situation could potentially be. Actually, come to think about it, I think we'll still be ahead of Stoke. As Oh, Drea, what a save! Drea, what a save! I'm trying to figure out the lead table in my head, and it's stressing me out right now. Right, this is going to annoy me for the rest of the game, because I don't know whether we should be going for a win or not in this game. Are we going to be ahead of Stoke, or what? I, th I think we're going to... Oh, Drea, what are you doing? Kenna, get a ball clear. Right, do you know what? I can't figure out the lead table. I think we're going to be a point clear of Stoke. Um, with a game to spare, even if they win and we get a draw in this game. But I can't figure it out and I'm losing concentration. Chumacero, down the right-hand side, man at the far post, and it's going to be headed behind for a corner. Right, forget the league table. Play for points on the pitch right now. Forget what's going on in the other games. Come on, Bray. Why is my math so bad? This should be really easy to figure out, you know? I, sh I should know what the situation is right now, but I don't know. We'll probably be in a relegation zone come the end of the game or something stupid. Sessignon shot. Drea with the save. Morrison tackled by Chilwell. Chance on the break here. Sing on the ball. Sing through to Lookman. Lookman to Brennan. Brennan out wide to Chubicero. Chubicero. Man at the far post. Oh, that's a terrible ball. But Connolly is going to keep it on. Oh, what a touch. What a touch, Dylan Connolly. What a, what a fantastic run. Connolly's cross into the centre. Adrian gets it away. Chubicero's header. Oh, Adrian's gone missing. And Evans gets it clear. Only as far as Connolly. And Morrison's there. Creevy, got to win that in the air, doesn't. But it'll come to Ricketts instead, off the bench, and loses the ball. The first thing he does is lose the ball and give West Brom a chance on the break. Johnny Evans forward and finds Morrison. Morrison the side of Berahino, crosses. Evans flicks it on. Head away with Chilwell. It's going to drop to Evans. To Sessignon. Evans! No! Oh, he's put it wide! Oh, he's put it wide, thank goodness. Johnny Evans, thank you. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. He's missed. He's put it wide. Oh my word. Thank you. I am stunned. I was just about to say he's won the game. I was just about to say he's won the game. They have been so much better than us in the second half. And Johnny Evans, the centre-back, fires the shot off target. Gardner to Morrison. Morrison to Pocket Nolly. Inside to Berahino. Shot comes in. Evans has missed it again. Evans has missed it again. That's the second miss by... Oh, he's offside. Oh. I mean, the point still stands. The point still stands. He blazed over a shot from close range where he should have at least hit the target. But, yeah, the, the linesman's flag kind of just ruined that for me and made me look like an idiot. Right, there we go. There we go. It's finished here at Carlisle Ground. Final score, nil-nil. A goalless draw in the penultimate game of the season in our final home game of the year. Oh, please, 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 please tell me Palace come back to got something at Selhurst Park because that'll basically do it. That will basically do it. So, come on. I'm not going to just sit here and, and chat for age about who was man of the match and what the uh, stats were. They, these are the stats. You want to see them. Man of the match can go to, I don't know, let's just give it to, not you. Let's give it to, uh, I don't know, Kenna defended quite well to us in that game. 6.6. The guy's got 6.5. He was quite good as well. Um, I don't know. West Brom. Who played well for West Brom? Let's just give it to Bock and Nolly for a 7.4. Um, right, come on. So everyone just cross your fingers. You can tell what I'm focused on here. Everyone cross your fingers. Palace, please have come back to win. Leicester, please have slipped up and lost. Please don't see me in the relegation zone because my mass is terrible. Come on, Palace. Just, I'm worried about the Palace game. Palace, they lost 2-0. Leicester drew. So Stoke won 2-0. Great, brilliant, excellent. Thanks a lot, Pardew. Leicester drew, so we're not in the relegation zone. We're still in 15th. We're okay. We're okay. Watford are in 18th place, though, and they've got 42 points. We're, what are we, two points off safety. We're two points off safety. Watford have got a game in hand. Who are they playing in the game in hand? We'll have to wait and see. Um, oh, my God. So winning that game would have... No, it wouldn't have guaranteed safety. What you thought? No, it wouldn't have done. So... I mean, it almost, it basically would have done, but a point's not a bad result. I mean, a, a loss would have been disastrous. A point is not a bad result. We're still out of the relegation zone, going into the final game, but we're still not safe. And even if Watford lose in a game in hand, we still won't be safe going into the final day. Excellent. Brilliant. Thanks a lot, Palace, and thanks a lot, Spurs. Love you both. I was so bad in that second half, but I think you can forgive me because I was just so nervy knowing that Stoke were winning. But in the end, a point is not a bad result. It really isn't. You know, if we beat United on the final day away from home, which probably won't happen, but, you know, West Ham did it all those years ago, then we'll definitely guarantee staying up. So, you know, it's, it's not a bad point, that one. It's not a bad point. Right, now, Watford should theoretically be playing their penultimate game today, and they are as well. They're away at Liverpool for their penultimate game of the season. So, I said that Spurs should do us a favour against Stoke. That didn't happen. I thought Palace would do us a favour against Stoke. That didn't happen. So, Liverpool, I'm sorry, but there is no way you lose at home to Watford and Anfield. You don't do that. I'm sorry, but that is ridiculous. You are not losing home to Watford. Jürgen, you dare throw this game, son. There is no way you slip up against Watford. They are not as good as the side I built with them in career mode. You have to beat Watford. I'm simulating through this game. For goodness sake, don't let me down like Palace and Spurs. Right, let's just do this. There is no way Liverpool slip up to Watford. I want to see where they are on the table as well. They are in 11th place. They're not having the best of seasons, Liverpool, but... You know, there is no way they lose at home to Watford. They're on 42 points, Watford. I don't want to see them even get to 43. I don't even see, want to see them get to 43. I want to see them lose this game, please, Liverpool. I want the win. I want the win. They drew. So, well, I didn't want to see it, but, you know, <laughs> it could have been worse. This is ridiculous. Three games. Three games. All four games you want to include the Leicester one. And not a single team did us a favour today. Not a single team did us a favour. Not a single team does a favour. Spurs lost. Spurs lost to Stoke. Palace lost to Stoke. Leicester drew Everton. So Everton drew Leicester. And Liverpool drew Watford. So not a single one of those four teams. Liverpool, Everton, Palace and Spurs. Not a single one did us a favour today. Not a single one. Which means that going into the final game, the league is going to look like this. 37 games played through all teams. Arsenal have ran away with the league this year. 
Lovely jubbly. Chelsea second, Spurs third, Everton fourth, Newcastle fifth. And then past that, we look at the relegation zone. It's been a really weird season. Past that, look at the relegation zone. Norries are down, Swansea are down. But on the final day, on the final day, even West Brom in 12 could possibly go down. I mean, that's not going to happen, obviously, but it still could. Sunderland, Villa, Bray, Watford and Stoke are not safe. I would say that right now, who's playing who on the final day? I should probably check that first, shouldn't I? Right, so in the final day in the Premier League season, these are the fixtures. Aston Villa are away to the champions Arsenal, so knowing my luck, the Gunners will lose 5-0. Here's hoping it doesn't the case, I'm sure it won't, and hopefully Arsenal will get the win. Uh, Chelsea are at home to Leicester. Now, Leicester are top of the table in real life, but in the game are below us in the table. So if Chelsea win that game, if Chelsea beat Leicester, which I'm not even going to say they should do because of what's happened today, but if Chelsea do beat Leicester at Stamford Bridge, which they should do, then basically we're guaranteed to be safe because Leicester are below us right now. So Chelsea, for goodness sake, don't let us down. Everton play Norwich, not important. Norwich are already relegated. United versus Bray. That's the game, of course, you'll be seeing with Bray Wanderers. You'll be seeing it live on TV, live on YouTube, whatever. It would take it on United away. Win that game, we're safe. Win that game against United and we're safe. So probably not going to happen. You never know. I wish we had Terrors. Uh, Newcastle versus Spurs. Um, that's not important either. Uh, Southampton versus Palace. I don't think that's important. Stoke versus West Ham. That's a big game. West Ham, come on. I don't believe I'm saying this, but West Ham, come on, win, please, against Stoke. Swansea versus City, not important. Watford versus Sunderland. Sunderland, come on, get the win. West Brom at home to Liverpool. Probably not going to matter, but I still like a Liverpool win. So those are the final fixtures going into the Premier League. This is the table with the final game to come in the next and final episode of the season. Our Bray Wanderers is going to stay up. The ball is in our court. Win our game, stay up. That's it. Win. That's as simple as that. Win our game, win against United, stay in the league. Simple as that. Lose our game. And if Watford get a point, if Watford and Stoke just get a point, and if Leicester win, Leicester have got to win their final game against Chelsea away. So... There is no, we can't choke now. We are not boiling it now. All we need to do is win our final game, we guarantee it. If Leicester fail to win, it's guaranteed. So, for goodness sake, Bray Wanderers, we've done so well. 37 games, we're out of the drop zone. Destiny's in our own hands. Let's not mess it up. Come on, Bray. And that is going to end today's episode of Saving Bray as well, guys. So I want to say a massive fan of the video. I really hope you have enjoyed it. Now, I know today's episode only featured one game. It was supposed to be the season finale today because I thought results were going to go our way and going into the final day, we'd already be safe. But because things didn't work out that way, which is just my luck, it means that we're still not safe with a game to play. And I think it's probably better to do that as a separate episode. But thank you for watching the video regardless. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. I'm sorry the game was a nil-nil as well, but it still puts us in a great position. That's the most important thing. There's a game to go. There's an episode to go. Bray Wanderers in the Premier League. Would it be staying up or would it be going down? Surely it's not the latter. Surely I'm not going to bottle it. Surely Bray is staying up. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like and enjoy today's episode. And I'll see you for the season finale where you'll see the fate of Bray Wanderers very soon.